Hi, so I want to show you how to make a very, very delicious orange and baobab cake. So baobab, which we're using in this, and it's very citrusy, so the flavour is incredible with the orange. It kind of really brings out that zestiness. It's amazing. And it's such a simple recipe. To get started, I've just soaked some flaxseed with water. It really helps stick the cake together. So that needs to soak for about 15 minutes before you get started. And then once you've got that, the first step is just to melt a little bit of coconut oil. So we just want about three tablespoons. And again, this helps stick the recipe together. While that's melting, we can start getting everything ready. So we need the zest of one orange. It smells so good. So then you can just pop this into your mixing bowl while we get the juice from the orange. And then we can get working. So we just pour all that amazing juice to the bowl. And then add our melted coconut oil. And then we want a little bit of brown rice milk. You can also use almond milk or something, but the brown rice milk has a natural sweetness, which is really nice. And then a little bit of maple syrup as our sweetener in this, which tastes lovely with the orange and baobab. And then a little bit of apple cider vinegar, which sounds weird, but it really makes the recipe work. And ground almonds. So we need 200 grams, which is this whole pack. And then polenta, which is our other flour, which is so nice, really nice using something a bit different. So I'm going to measure out about 270 grams. It's a great orange colour, kind of complements the orange that we've got in there. Our baobab. So we want six tablespoons of this so that we really, smells good, so we really taste it. And then our final things is a little bit of vanilla. It's one of my favourite flavours and I'm just using ground vanilla instead of vanilla essence because it's much more natural, doesn't have any of the other ingredients in. And then a little bit of arrowroot which really helps um, stick everything together. So we just need a few teaspoons of this and this helps thicken it all up and really bind it together. So it sounds a bit weird and it's a bit new but you can get it in most supermarkets. It's normally used for glazes and things like that and it works really, really well. And, and just a little pinch of salt, and then give everything a good mix. So it's a nice recipe, you don't need any equipment or anything, so it's quite easy and quick. It's relatively mess-free to put together. And there we go, so you can see it's got a nice orange colour and it smells so good. So you can use a baking tray. And then I always grease these, even though they're non-stick, because I just find it's always still easier to get it out and there's nothing worse than having something delicious in a tray and then not being able to get it out. And now we just pour the mix in. And there we go. So we just pop that in the oven and then when it comes out, we're gonna put a beautiful kind of orangey glaze on it. So once your cake's cooked, your kitchen's smelling amazing, we can take it out and we can do our glaze. And then we're going to zest two more oranges, get the juice from them and mix that then with a little bit of coconut sugar and then get the juice from them. Might be worth just pouring your juice through a strainer so it's nice and smooth for the glaze. And then we stir in our zest and add a little bit of coconut sugar. And there we go. So get that to cool down. And we can just, yes, flip them out and then put the glaze on. And there we go. So here is our amazing orange and um, baobab cake. And it smells so, so, so good. And here we go. Final product looks absolutely amazing.